Hey, Shad here with Speed Axe, the fast growing gear site on the web. And today we're going to uncrate the Shoei X14. Before we jump in and uncrate the Shoei X14, go ahead and subscribe. That helps us keep bringing you the best gear reviews in the universe and also if anytime you decide hey i like this shad character i want to shop at speed addicts there's a link to purchase down below in the description for the showy x14 and all the other stuff we sell so here we are the x14 i know this is, review is a little late i mean this helmet's been out for a number of years right but we wanted to just freshen up our review and give you some extra information the x14 is the flagship helmet from showy this is ultra high performance it is long, which means it's aerodynamic. We'll go into more about why that is. Uh, it's aerodynamic, it's comfortable, it flows. You know, this is their GP helmet that's most at home on the track or aggressive street riding. But I do know plenty of people who are wearing this on touring bikes, on naked bikes, on any bikes, because it's really versatile. People really like the fit, but even more, the thing that sets it apart from the RF series is the ventilation. This thing just flows a ton of air, and uh, it's got some extra goodies that you're paying for. So the solids start at 820 and go up to 950 for most of the graphics. So not inexpensive. There was just a price increase on this guy as well as the rest of the show. So it's not inexpensive, but this is true craftsmanship. Each one's handmade in Japan. It, when only the finest will do, you should check out Shoei. If you haven't ridden one, you'll understand once you put one on. The fit is just so plush and great. The ear pockets are huge. Really awesome place to be and a high quality product with all the safety that you're going to want built in. The shell construction on the X14 is a six ply. So the RF uh, 1400, for example, is a five ply. This is a six ply. And the plies are fiberglass and aramid fibers interchange. So it's a really sturdy shell. Uh, the weight, 3.6 pounds, not necessarily the lightest, but not bad. Showy always tells you, hey, we're not trying to make the lightest helmet. We're trying to make the safest helmet we can. And like everyone else says, the Showy weight distribution is excellent. It doesn't feel quite that heavy. And the aerodynamics on the X14 really uh, excel at speed. So, you know, this is a helmet that's capable of 200 miles an hour. Um, let's talk about safety certifications, homologations on the X14. DOT and Snell 2020 four shell sizes, making up sizes from extra small up to two extra large. So um, the sizing chart over at SpeedX is accurate. Go buy that sizing chart. Showies typically true to fit for most people, intermediate oval fit. And remember, if you buy your next helmet from Speed Addicts, not only will you get let off with a warning next time a cop pulls you over, but we have no cost return. So if you just decide you don't like it, doesn't fit, no problem. We'll get you a label within a couple of clicks over at speedx.com. As long as the helmet's new original packaging, nice and pretty, you can return it for exchange or refund, whatever you need to do. Okay, enough with my plug. So <clears throat> I will note, a lot of people are asking us, hey, when's the X15 coming out? Well, that's over a year away. That's probably going to be a late 2023 20, uh, situation. So this thing still has life in it. It's still an excellent helmet. And it's, like I said, with supply chain, all that sort of stuff, it's going to be a while until the 15 comes out. So the X14, still a top contender. Let's talk about why the ventilation is number one. So anybody that's ridden this versus an RF series will tell you this flows more air. It's down below. We got chin bar intakes. We got this bottom one that's separate versus the, the face shield blower. This puts air onto the face shield, help you keep cool defog. Uh, this one down low puts it more in your mouth area. Up on top, we have a big ram air vent right here that is three positions, so you can tune that in to your heart's content, and down low, a two position crown vent. That's all your intake, so plenty of intakes, air rushing through this helmet, and then the thing that makes it unique is it actually has two sets of exhausts. One set here, whoops, sorry, here, okay, across here, and then you have another set of exhausts here. So the vacuum exhaust system that pulls the hot air out, gets that cool air in, is extreme on the X14, Inside Shoei's ducting system that runs through the EPS foam is very clever and one of the most thought, well thought out ones on the market. So not only is the air rushing through the helmet, but it's going through all the nooks and crannies and getting onto your scalp and keeping you cool, which is what's important. Let's talk about the face shield. Another thing that sets this one apart is it's out of the box. You are going to get a face shield that is tear off ready. That's this big nipple on the outside. And then on the inside, you're going to have a pin lock ready prep. Uh, you're going to have a couple nipples on the inside. First off, tear-offs. If you never used them, you've seen them on the motocross track, guys pull them off to get a clear field of view. 
on uh, the track for a street helmet, it's the same situation. You're getting rubber, you're getting bugs on the track. You can run tear-offs, sheets. They're not included, sold separately, and you can rip those off and get some clear view. On the inside, pin lock. The pin lock answer is included, which is nice to them considering how much money you're investing here. So you're getting a pin lock insert that installs on the inside of this face shield, and that's to mitigate fog. So you'll reduce or eliminate fog by changing or managing the temperature differential from your hot mug to whatever's going on on the outside of the helmet. So pin lock insert is included, and the shield is ready to accept. Another thing you're gonna notice on this shield are these little bumps, these little speed bumps on the outside. Those are wind turbines or air turbines that are meant to reduce the air turbulence as the air is rushing over the top of the helmet. And so that's gonna make it quieter and uh, cut through the air better. So they have these on both sides. That's something that's different when compared to say the RF series, they don't have that. The safety lock is right here, it is two stage. So <clears throat> you close it, that's good for, you know, regular type riding. If you're going on higher speeds, you might wanna lock, engage that safety lock that will really secure this if you're, you know, if you're hitting big, big speeds. So they have that little safety switch there. And then we're gonna open this up and it has a number of detents here. So you can ride it with uh, just a bit of a crack. If you're not going very fast, you wanna get some more airflow. So uh, fully detented shield situation. And the showy pivot kits are just smooth like butter. So you just slide this forward. It's gonna come out, no struggling. You notice I'm not, moving stuff around, pushing really hard. I mean, the showy pivots are the best on the market. This one is slightly different uh, from the RF series and it is really, really good. Uh, the shields, face shields from Showy are 99% UV blocking and they have a number of options. They got light smoke, they got mellow smoke, they got iridium colors, but the coolest one, the photochromic, is not cheap at around $199, but that is a full transitions visor that will tint in the sun and go back clear uh, when there's no, um, when there's less light outside. So the photochromic shield is available for the X14 should you want a transition style visor. Okay, that does it for the outside. Let's climb inside the showy X14 and show you some more of what's going on. I also have some goodies. <clears throat> what comes in the box, they say. Okay, number one, I just showed you that pivot mechanism. That has some silicone grease on it to keep it moving uh, easily. And they actually include a little eyedropper full of that stuff. That's something only Showy does. It's the Showy difference. There we go, that's gone. What else is in the box? Well, <clears throat> this is an air spoiler for the bottom of the helmet. Another unique thing. This smushes up between the shell and the EPS foam in here and uh, helps with airflow moving around the helmet at higher speeds. This is kind of like a fancier track option. We'll get rid of that. <clears throat> More streetable option that a lot of people run is the chin curtain. This is also included in the box. This one's kind of mesh that installs right here and helps keep some of the wind, noise, that sort of stuff out of the helmet. So they include the chin curtain. There's that. Okay, also, <clears throat> but wait, there's more. We have a breath deflector. So if, if you're, uh, your face holes breathing on your visor and fogging it up, this is one thing that can help. This just is a press fit right here and is a little breath, uh, breath guard. Also included, your fancy, fancy showy helmet bag. Okay, there we go. Let's look inside of the helmet and show you what's going on. You have a double D ring closure, which is what you'd expect on this format. No quick release here. We're gonna undo this. The first thing we're gonna show you are the quick release cheek pads. So if EMS has to remove you out of this helmet in case you're in an accident, they're gonna go ahead and pull these red tabs, remove the cheek pads first. That relieves some of the tension on your head and allows them to remove the helmet from your head without disturbing the rest of your body, hopefully. So it does have emergency quick release. I'm gonna do it the, uh, the standard way. Don't yank the emergency release unless it's an emergency. Otherwise, you kinda just first unsnap it from the inside and then pull it away. There is your 3D foam cheek pad with the showy wicking material. The other interesting thing about the X14 that I hadn't touched on yet is that the interior is adjustable. And what I mean by that is there's multiple positions right here that you can move these clips into and that will change the riding position for you. So you can take it from a standard riding position and move it down to more of a tucked riding position. 
So it makes it really versatile. Like I told you before, I know guys on touring bikes on Harleys that like the X14. They keep it in the uh, standard riding position. Uh, but if you're going to climb on the sport bike and hit the track or the canyons, you can pull it down in more of that tucked riding position. Really unique thing. I don't think I've seen any other helmets lately with something like that in it. This might be the only one that I know of. All right, cheek pads out of the way. They, Showy always makes a variety of cheek pads. So if you need to fine tune your Showy fit, Speedax can help you out with that. Um, there's a number of options. Let's get this headliner out of the way. The same thing with the headliner. There's multiple positions Whoops, for these snaps that you can move things around and kind of adjust the way this helmet's going to sit on your head. Okay, there's the comfort liner is out. All right, so the channels and ports in there are working with the exterior shell ventilation to move the air around and get it right down your scalp. You're gonna see that Snell 2022. And if you're wondering about build dates, a lot of people ask us about build dates. You know, 2020, um, the last couple of years, Shoei has been in such high demand. Every helmet that comes in here is just freshly built. So if you're wondering about build dates, Shoei uh, for the foreseeable future, all very fresh. Uh, let's see here. <clears throat> the other thing I want to show you is that this helmet, whoops, it does have speaker pockets. So that's not uh, always the case for a more uh, super sport focused helmet. Uh, let's see, the flagship GP helmets don't always have the speakers and uh, speaker pockets. This one does, so you can run whatever comm system you want. Real easy install there with those speaker pockets. Plenty of room for clamp or adhesive mount because Shoei's helmets don't have a bunch of weird ridges right here. It's easy to stick that on. All showy helmets come with a five-year warranty. So you're making this sort of a vest investment in a helmet. That is nice to know. High quality, high performance. That's what the X14's all about. You want to grab one of these suckers, head over to speedaddicts.com. We really appreciate you guys for watching. We'll see you next time to find out what's in the crate.